All right, so one comment yesterday was quite funny. It was like something about my accent and how I can't be understood because of my accent. Do you guys find my accent weird? Most of my viewers are probably American, so I get that it might be different, but anyway. Today's question. Should I use one reality check that affects me or do I need to change my reality check every week? Now, this is, I'm gonna answer the question and I'm also gonna give you a few updates as well about just things that are going on. Okay, so when I say to mix up your reality checks and like try different ones, what I mean by that is not that you should just avoid doing them if, they work, if they're working for you and just for the sake of changing them. What I mean is until you find one that works for you, keep changing them every week. So let's say this week you did the finger palm push and nothing happened and you didn't have any lucid dreams. And then next week you tried the one where you like pinch your nose and try and breathe through your nose and nothing really happened. Then the week after you find that every time you look at a watch and then and do the whole like time watch reality check, that seems to work for you and you ended up having two or three lucid dreams that week. Stick with that one because that one is working best for you. And then if at any point in the future you find that you're in a rut or like maybe you can't have as many lucid dreams or it just starts to not be as effective, then you change it and then you try different reality checks until you find another one that works for you at that given time. Because what you'll find is it's kind of not seasonal, but it's kind of, it will kind of vary. So one week you might find that one reality check works for you, in which case keep going until it stops being effective. And then when your brain or subconscious or whatever gets used to that reality check, then you switch it up when it's no longer effective and then you try a different one. So that all the time you're keeping your brain engaged with fresh ideas, fresh reality checks and new experiences. You should not only focus on that, but you should also focus and... Uh... All right, so I'm gonna give you a little tip, which is usually only available in my Udemy course. So when I talk about reality checks, obviously, Obviously when I talk about reality checks, it's important to switch them up every week. But an even more powerful uh, method, an even more powerful thing to do, is to use triggers with, with, with reality checks. So don't just do them on, don't just do them every hour or every two hours or something rhythmic, like the way you know where it's gonna happen. Attach them to, if you can, if you can download an app on your phone that will give you a random alarm, so you don't know when it's gonna go off, that would be better. Uh, even better than that is to attach it to certain triggers that you might see during your day. When I say triggers, I mean, say if you, throughout an average day, say if you see a handful of like of dogs or cats, that could be a trigger for you. So you could tell yourself, every time I see a dog or a cat, I'll do a reality check. And that would be, you're attaching a belief to that trigger. So that hopefully, when you see a dog, you're gonna do a reality check and that's gonna then transfer to your dreams. It's even more effective. You see how there's different levels of effectiveness, right? It's not just about doing your reality checks, it's about being mindful about how you're doing them and like what's triggering them. So even more effective than that is to look at your dream signs. So every you should be writing your dreams down every morning and after a while you'll have like recurring themes. So these will be objects, people, places, things that you dream about more than once, quite often I would say and these are your dream signs. So what you would do is pick out a few of them that maybe you see in waking life, like whether it's a person or your pet or something, whatever you dream about most that you also see in waking life. That would be the most effective trigger. Every time you see that dream sign in waking life, you should do a reality check. That's it. That's, that's the most effective way at the moment of using reality checks um, for, I don't wanna say for beginners because I do this as well, but it's sort of, it's, it's a very effective method, using, re using triggers, being mindful when you do the reality checks, identifying your dream signs to use as triggers, and also switching up the reality check if it's not effective for you. As in, when I say effective, if the reality check is not showing up in your dreams, that means it's not as effective. Now that being said, sometimes you'll have your most effective reality checks show up in your dreams and not give you a lucid dream. That, I wouldn't take that on face value, just, just try and be patient with it. And I guess more than anything else, just try and write down your experiences so you know where you're going right and you know where you're going wrong. Also, while I have your attention, please go and subscribe to Transcend Your Limits, my second channel, because well, I do daily videos there, or at least I have been for a while, and I'm about to go on a big trip. I'm going all around Asia, I'm going to, well, I'm starting off in Prague, and then coming back and then going to Asia. Um, I'm going to Scotland as well. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a few months I'm gone for. I'll be doing daily videos. So even this channel, you know, my, you won't be seeing this uh, this setting in my videos. You'll be seeing probably like a crazy 
skyline or mountains or I don't know, something like that. So yeah, that's very exciting. I'm hyped about that. Um, go ahead and subscribe to Transcendental Limits and also this channel. I have been in contact with somebody at YouTube and I've confirmed that the algorithm has slightly changed. If you don't click the notification bell underneath the subscribe button and click give me notifications, and also if you don't like engage with my videos as in comment or like or whatever, you just won't see them. And you might not really care, but if you do care um, and you do want to see my content and you are trying to learn how to lucid dream, this is a really valuable channel uh, for like information and tips. I'm giving away fairly fairly juicy bits of information here, which normally, um, you know, they'd be in a book or, or a course that you'd have to pay for. So, so if you do value these videos, please go and subscribe and turn on notifications and just sort of engage with the videos. If not, then that's fine. You can ignore them. <laughs> I don't really mind. So I'm going to be trying out the community tab on my YouTube channel just to find out what you guys want to see me make a video about. Obviously, I try and answer as many questions as I can, but obviously I'm overwhelmed with questions. So what I'm going to be doing in every, I'm going to be trying to look at the latest video I've posted and at the most upvoted comment. So if you would like to see a video about a particular topic and you see somebody else has asked that question on a comment, upvote that comment and it will be very likely that I'll make a video about that particular topic. You can also check out my Patreon page if you fancy it. Um, information's in the description. There's actually some quite cool bonuses now, like there's a private WhatsApp group for a certain band of people and there's some other stuff as well, coaching and uh, ebooks and all sorts of exciting stuff like that. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.